Hello everyone. So yesterday or day before yesterday, I attended my very first org meetup. So sometime back, I think a couple of months back, I made a video that uh, we should start an org meetup and someone actually reached out to me and uh, invited me to their meetup which they organized this week and it was amazing it was wonderful i think when you do these meetups i know that we are not really doing it face to face or in person but i think even if you do it online you get a chance to you know know other people at the same time you also learn from each other now this video is not really about a meetup but i actually wanted to talk about and uh, share my experience about uh, time clocking in uh, org mode now i use org mode heavily in fact i rely on it for doing my work and it is great it is wonderful and i also clock my time but sometimes and and i'm just being honest with you sometimes i ask myself do i really need to clock time if i'm not really uh, doing anything but i am a bit uh I, i'm usually when i try to do something and I, and i and i know it it makes sense and i know it will help me i i do it and i think time clocking is important because i can analyze what i have been doing plus more than that i think the the, the number one reason why i clock my time is to basically keep myself motivated for example if i have planned something to be delivered or something to do from 9 to 12 every day or 4 to 7 every day and when i do it and when i also clock my time then i can run a report now the, the problem is and the main challenge is it is not very visual or easy to create a report based on time clock of course there is a you know time clocking report which is of course mentioned in the org modes manual and and it is great but it is not uh, detailed enough or it is uh, not really customizable it is uh, uh, something that you have to you know manipulate and uh, to be honest I, as i mentioned in one of my recent videos i know a little bit of emacs lisp but i know enough so that i can copy and paste some code from or snippet from stack overflow and okay and i can modify it i can make it work for myself but i can't really like write lengthy like things when it comes to solving a problem i know if i spend time if i invest my time learning it i will be able to do it but that is not really my priority and usually i have absolutely no time in my diary <laughs> and i'm always busy with stuff but eventually i will do it but for the time being i was hoping to find uh, if someone has done some work already and fortunately when i attended that meetup i came to know about uh, you know few packages that i believe you can take a look at i am trying and i'm trying to figure out whether uh, this will work for me or not and i'm also thinking whether i should write my own or maybe i should figure out a way to because when it comes to reporting i don't really need to look at this report which is live and which i need to like update or basically which i need to uh run every day even if i do it like once in a while i'm fine with that and it can be in any format so i found uh, or basically in the in the meetup someone actually mentioned these uh few tools packages so basically if you look here you can actually if you go to this uh, github repository clj hyphen org hyphen analyzer you can basically download some jar file and it will run some web based thing or report which you can use to basically analyze what you have been doing and it is a bit similar to what you do on github but it is not really it is great but it is not really uh like it is not a custom report right of course you can always create your own one but this is definitely a good starting point similarly there is, there is another uh, package called uh, org hyphen heat map and it will let you do something similar but it says uh, it is focused on habits but i guess the whole point is that it, you can see here that on a calendar just like you know what when you do your commits on github 
you can see these uh, colors or heat map and I, and I think it is really useful and uh, and you can click on it and it will basically you know take you to the actual place or actual task or habit so I thought I'll probably you know just let you know that uh, I'm trying these packages and I'm also trying to figure out a way to do something solid when it comes to understanding the org native if you search online org block time you will find uh, the reports that you can uh, take a look at and these reports are uh, the, the you know the clock table will actually give you like useful information but it is uh, very straightforward and you have to basically dig more to understand what uh, you did plan and what you achieved how much time you spent and uh, so far to be honest because i work whenever i'm working for a client and I, have, and, I, and i have to and if i have to log my time i just log it in jira because i know because I, that, that is what i do and it is much more convenient for me and uh, so far i think uh, when it comes to to, to time tracking using org mode although i do it but i think if i can fix the reporting part or if i, if I can figure out a way to do it for uh, my client projects as well then uh, that would be wonderful to be honest even i uh, even for my client projects if i know that i have to build them based on number of hours i spent i do it in jira because in jira i go to the actual epic i log my time and that is it and uh, usually i can also log my time to my jira tickets from a shell script which i basically prepare like every week or whenever i do some work it is basically a comma separated uh, format like csv and every month or whatever i want i can actually run that particular uh, uh, shell script it will log the time for me so that actually works fine for me and uh, because i do spend uh, i mean of course i don't really use org mode for each and everything that i do in life uh, that would be ideal and that is of course the ambition but uh, if i can uh, find a way to create a report wonderful report i'm sure there are other packages if you have done something similar do let me know if you have uh, uh, any suggestions for me again i would love to know how, how you do it and uh, ideally if we can export the the time logs maybe in a csv format i think that even that would be wonderful because uh, i think it can be done it, is, it, it shouldn't be too difficult because you know it is just writing a shell scripts i believe and uh, looking at the org file and then dumping it somewhere and uh, but but i think we should probably explore more and i will of course you know keep you posted when i have more information just like always all right that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much